Hey there students, on this clip we're going to be going over an example on how to calculate a definite integral um, of a piecewise defined function. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down the question. So it, it, uh, part number one, if f of x is a piecewise defined function defined as um, tan x, if x is between uh, x and pi over 4, and it's a reciprocal function cotangent x if x is between pi over 4 and uh, pi over 2. So if these are the constraints and uh, if these are, if you have a f of x is defined as this piecewise defined function, find the definite uh, integral from 0 to pi over 2 of f of x dx. Okay? Alright, before we go ahead and start with this piece, uh, integrating this function and finding the uh, definite integral, um, there are two formulas for integration we need to know. The first one, I'm going to write this in green, the first one is the, you need to know the antiderivative of tan x, you need to know that the antiderivative of tan x is uh, the natural logarithm, actually the negative natural logarithm of the absolute value of cosine x plus c. Okay? And the um, indefinite integral of cotangent x dx equals um, the natural logarithm of the absolute value of sine x plus c. Okay? Alright. Uh, so that these are the ones, these are the formulas I'm going to be using to find the antiderivative of my piecewise defined function. Okay? And put dx over here. dx equals that. Alright. So keep these formulas in mind. These are the formulas we're going to use. All right, so how do we split up this piecewise defined function? You notice that uh, pi over 4 is between is right at the center of pi over 2. So let's let's make a number line so that we can delineate our functions. So let's say we have a number line with this following orientation. Uh, we're going from 0 all the way to pi over 2, right? And we know that um, pi over 4 is right there in the center. So what this integral is telling me to do is to calculate the integral from 0 to pi over 4. And we know, based on this, that there is a switch. We know that tan x reigns from 0 to pi over 4. This is tan x, the domain for tan x from here all the way to here. And then we know it switches to cotangent from uh, here all the way to there, cotangent x. Okay? Let me be a little bit more precise with my uh, interval notation. So tan x, we go from closed circle here all the way to there. And then for cotangent x, it's an uh, open circle here all the way to uh, pi over 2 over there. Right there, okay? All right, so how do we set up this uh, integral? Well, we just follow, uh, use the function that's active on each interval, right? So the antiderivative of the function f of x dx on the interval from 0 to pi over 2 is simply going to be uh, the antiderivative from 0 to pi over 4. Which function is live from 0 to pi over 4? Tan x, right? Of tan x dx plus, so we're adding the, uh, in the definite integrals, plus the definite integral of cotangent x dx on the remainder of the interval, which is from pi over 4 uh, to pi over 2. Okay? Alright, so we're going to evaluate this integral and then use FTC part 2 to find out the total, the, what the value is, okay? So, um, let's take a look at this. What's the antiderivative of tan x? We have a formula here is negative, the opposite of the natural logarithm of uh, cosine x. So let's use that right here. We're going to have, this is going to be <coughs> Uh, negative, the opposite of the natural logarithm, write that again, the negative of the natural logarithm of the absolute value of cosine x, evaluated from 0 to pi over 4, plus, and then for cotangent is the natural logarithm of sine x, right? So the natural logarithm of the absolute value of sine x, evaluated from pi over 4 all the way to pi over 2. Okay, so these are what we're going to be evaluating. Alright, 
Now that we found the antiderivative, we're just going to plug in the endpoints and evaluate the difference, okay? So for the natural logarithm of cosine x, we're going to plug in the top first and the minus the bottom. Let me leave the minus outside so we don't get confused, okay? So for the minus outside, so when I plug in the top into this function, when I plug in the upper limit of my integration into x, I'm going to get um, uh, the natural logarithm of the absolute value of cosine what? Pi over 4, right? Cosine pi over 4. With that absolute value. Uh, close the whole thing here. And then that minus, when I plug in 0, the lower limit of my integration into x, I'm going to have minus the natural logarithm of cosine 0. Okay? So this is the value of my, my first in, a definite integral. And now I'm going to use the same procedure to find out the value of my next uh, uh, definite integral. Okay, so just plug in the top. If I plug in the top into the sine function here, I'll have the natural logarithm of the absolute value of sine pi over 2 minus the natural logarithm, plug in the bottom, of the absolute value of sine pi over 4. Okay, and then we'll just evaluate these two. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. So on this side, we know what the natural uh, cosine pi over 4 is, right? Cosine pi over 4 is it's 2 over 2. So in this case, we have negative uh, of the natural logarithm of root 2 over 2 minus uh, cosine 0 is 1 minus the natural logarithm of 1 plus the natural logarithm of sine pi over 2 um, is, is 1. Absolute value of 1, which is just 1. I didn't need to put absolute value there. So absolute value of 1 is just 1. Um, minus the natural logarithm of sine pi over 4. We know sine pi over 4 is the same thing as cosine pi over 4, which is uh, root 2 over 2. Okay. All right, let's simplify these. We're going to have negative natural logarithm of root 2 over 2. My plus is becomes a plus right here. Um, what is the natural logarithm of 1? The natural logarithm of 1 is 0 plus, and then the natural logarithm of 1 here again is 0, minus the natural logarithm of root 2 over 2. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and combine these. Um, these two add out to zero because it's zero, so we have minus two times the, of the times the natural logarithm of root two over two. Okay, let's go ahead and use some properties of exponents here to re-express this. I can express this as a negative two times the natural logarithm of the square root of two over four. Okay. It goes, I want to express this as an exponent so I can simplify it a little bit further. This is a good answer, but it could be simplified further. All right, so notice what happens here. I'm going to express, using the radical property, I'm going to express this as negative 2 times the natural logarithm um, of 2 over 4 raised to the 1 half power. Okay, that's the same thing as square root, which equals negative 2 times the natural logarithm of 1 half raised to the 1 half power. Okay. And then we'll use the power property of um, logarithms. This one half, I can power this down to this two right here. So it becomes negative two times one half times the natural logarithm of one half. Okay? And then these two and this one half cancel out. And then your, your final result is going to be negative natural logarithm of one half. All right, that is the value of uh, the antiderivative of the function zero to pi over 2 of f of x dx, where f of x is the piecewise defined function that was introduced earlier. Okay, so there goes your answer. All right, so what is the graphical significance of this? Let me show you what the graphical um, significance of, of this problem is, okay? All right, so here are the two functions graphed. I'm using a graphing software. Um, the cotangent function is in blue, and the tan function is in black, okay? So uh, what we were focusing our attention on was the integral from 0 to pi over 2. And we know that the integral is the um, area under the curve uh, from the x-axis to the curve, up or down. All right, so in this area, we noticed that the above, 
um, the x-axis. So let's see what, what your intervals are going to be. So we have uh, for, the, for the tau function, that's what the integral is. This is from 0 to pi over 4. This area under here is the is the integral from 0 to pi over 4. All right? And then for the cotangent, we know we're going from pi over 4 to pi over 2, right? So what does that look like? It is the area right here. So this entire area, this area we're looking for, that's that's what we just found. Okay? All right, I just did a screen capture um, of what, what I was just showing you. So let me let me show you using symbols to show you what, what, what I'm talking about, okay? All right, so um, this this left area right here under the tangent curve, that area is the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of tan x dx, all right? And then the area under the blue curve right here, this area, is the second uh, integral, which is the integral from 0 to, uh, I'm sorry, the integral from pi over 4 to pi over 2, from pi over 4 to pi over 2 of cotangent x dx, okay? So these two add up to uh, the answer we got, which is the opposite of ln of 1 half, okay? So the area under this curve, that is what the question is asking for, this entire area right here. And based on the calculus we just did, um, that er the value of this area is the natural logarithm, I mean negative natural logarithm of 1 half. All right, so there you have it. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. You can feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. Uh, more videos can be found on mattherserve.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.